today I want to talk to you about the uh, Ritchie Brothers actions. They're a big company. They uh, they do mostly construction equipment and you know all kinds of uh, trucks, semis, uh, backhoes, caterpillars. You name it. I'm not an expert on, on construction, but they do the the auctions all over the world. And I live in Las Vegas, so I really focus on on the ones close to me in las vegas maybe they do three three a year but they have another ones in uh, paris california they have another one in uh, tipton you know north of uh, bakersfield another one uh, up in lake point i hear uh, near salt lake city you know very close to salt lake city that's, that's the one in denver but they do they do three locations there in denver they're gonna have items selling in las vegas and and some other ones in Lake Point, once you go into the website, you, you'll see you'll see the locations, and then you decide you know which ones you're going to bid on, depending on your capability. If you're going to be able to pick the item up or have it shipped to you, you know you can. They have links on their pages to to uh, you ship. I don't remember the name of the other company, but there's two companies. They they have links on their web page and. You know they they make they kind of make it easy for you if you're in the business of buying equipment and all that. Uh, they even have hotels near near the auction sites where they they offer you a discount. So I'm just gonna give you a quick tour over here. Of, you know, basically once you get a, an account, you know, email address, phone, you all your personal info. You gotta put a credit card with them, like like a bid limit. You know, so mine is only twenty five thousand. I usually bid a lot i don't win a lot i only won maybe four trucks i just focus on pickup trucks i like the f-150s right now they're work trucks you know keep in mind you will find some luxury trucks but most of them are going to be work trucks uh, condition varies you know um, so right now let's say i'm going to show you this 2014 that it's in lake point the high bid is 1500 you can see all the pictures here you start with pictures. Well, they also put a video here. So for the videos, very much click on, on the video. And they basically show you, you know, like uh, just normal operation. Sometimes they'll stop and, and back it up so you can see that, that the transmission works in for reverse. So you start with the outside, like in this case, you know, stuff like this, you know. Um, and then this is kind of important to me you know the dash I usually pay attention to well of course you're looking at the miles but you're also looking at this the the gauges you know you want you want to make sure the the engine has all pressure it doesn't overheat although it's hard to say you know for only a few a few seconds that they turn it on but but you can check the old pressure which is very important uh, that happened to me once with the uh, I bought one here in Las Vegas um, Turned out the engine was good, but it had no oil pressure because one of the injectors was leaking. All the gas went into the oil. When I changed the oil, to me the the, the engine was gone. You know, it was smoking. It was I was I was for the amount of money I paid, I, I was okay with it. But uh, it turned turned out that uh, once I fixed the, fixed the injector and then I changed the oil, it, it was like a like you know like like new again i mean it had a lot of miles but it ran really good so it was a good surprise and one thing i pay attention to is the interior uh somebody told me once you know what sells a truck is or a car is the interior i didn't believe him at the time but it is true so stuff like this you know you got to be prepared to to really have it cleaned up and uh, take it maybe call a detail guy or you take it to the car wash and really really go at it uh, sometimes the seats are in, you know they're really bad not all the time you know but my truck that I drive right now it came really dirty on on the vinyl and the dash and everything but the seats had that cover like an aftermarket cover all of them so that when I took that out the, the seats were like pretty much new so I was I was glad that that, that was the case, uh, but yeah, you know you gotta be prepared to to stuff like this, you know, on the interior. Yeah. So, and then 
I mean, you gotta pay attention at, at the miles, of course, you know, what type of engine. If it's a six cylinder, has a lot of miles, well, you know, you gotta take that into account. Um, before, on the app, you could see they have a, a report of uh, operation, like operational report. It's called limited function check. Before, if you were online on a computer, you couldn't see this for some reason. You had to go in, t in the app, and the app had it. Now they nice they, they it's nice that they put it up right here. So it says, you know, the engine started to run, engine light is on, okay. Well, runs rough, okay. Yeah. That's why it's only 1500. Uh drive train engages in four one reverse, okay. So this is why this is only fifteen hundred. It's a twenty fourteen with if you look at the miles are very, very low for a five point oh. So that's the reason. Um if you want to place a bid, you click here, and then you you pretty much put your uh, maximum bid, and it's kind of like eBay. Uh, if you your maximum is say twenty five hundred, that doesn't mean you're gonna pay the twenty five hundred. The system bids like the minimum needed to 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 keep winning. Once that once that's over, then uh, it lets you know you've been a bid. And it's it's the same case for. Like I have this on my watch list right now. Mm. I'm gonna show you one that I was bidding on. It's a really nice one. It went over four thousand, so I'm not gonna bid on it no more. But uh, that's more than I was willing to pay for it. It's a really nice truck, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how nice it is. Uh, this one uh, runs good. There's no check engine light or anything I already checked um, you know it's a 4x4 four four that uh, that's an added value you know the 4x4 four four it's adds a lot of value to a truck I'm, I'm sure you all know this so it only has 169,000 miles for being a 2012 and it, it does have the 5.0 so it's really not a concern you know for for that engine you know those miles are really not a whole lot uh, these trucks are usually well maintained for by uh, the cr whoever had them. You know, if uh, sometimes uh, the county had them, the sometimes it's the company. But overall, they they do the maintenance. You can see that they do the the actual maintenance regularly and often. You find stickers, you find records, so they're not neglected. You know, some are, not all. So you gotta be really. You gotta be careful, you know, with, with that. But uh, like this, you know, this camper also has a l adds a lot of value to it. You know, you took you're looking at a camper that's gonna go for, I don't know, like eight hundred thousand bucks just by itself. One thing you do have to pay attention though is the body. They don't they don't tell you. They tell you in pictures what's wrong with the body. They really do take pictures of everything. But they're not gonna say, hey, it's got a bad. Uh, I don't know dent on the on the on the passenger door or something like that or on the column or something like that they're just gonna show you in pictures they're not gonna describe that in the in the uh, in the actual description of the truck um, keep in mind though once once you bid on this it, the bid is legally binding um, I never been in a situation which, where I have to like uh, cancel a bid there is a way to lower your bid I'll show you right now Sorry, forgot to put that on the actual video. Basically, what you do is you lower your maximum bid. Say you already bid 5,000, then you go back and you lower your maximum bid to 4,200 and then it'll lower. But uh, yeah, once you bid on it, you're pretty much uh, bind by the uh, contract. So keep that in mind before you put, put a bid on it. This one is really clean inside. This, this is the thing that I like about it. And that's the reason why it's going so high. Just look at it. It's got the fire extinguisher here, and it's really super clean. You can you can tell it's a clean truck. So it's probably going to go for a lot more than what it is right now. the The auction has uh, one day and a day and a half left. I think it's a day and twelve hours. I don't know. So stuff like this, yeah, you know, because the drivers. I don't know if they put on because they like it. I hate this stuff. <laughs> Can't
can't drive with it, but I'm sure once you take that off, it's the the wheels are gonna be in that great of a shape. But you know, the overall the the truck is super super clean. You know, just look at the flooring. Oh, it even has the the floor mats, uh, the Goodyear floor mats. The aftermarket, of course. Things like this, yeah, those are missing. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people like to say, "Oh, this is easy to fix." And, mm, uh, I don't know. I don't know if, that, if it's that easy to fix, but it doesn't really make a difference once you get it set that you hide and everything. You know, I don't think you'll need it a whole lot. But anyhow, depending on what, if you wanted to sell it or you wanted to keep it for yourself. Usually the tires are in really great condition. They usually come with good tires. I'm sorry, my internet is acting up now. See what I mean? And you usually see the all four tires the same, of course, you know, being a company truck. Sometimes, yes, you will see one brand here, another brand in the front. But anyhow, that's a uh, ballpark. That's, that's how it is. You know, it's going for 4250 right now closest tomorrow at noon and again this is a Rocky Mountain regional event this is based in Denver now this truck is located in Lake Point uh, it says right here located in Salt Lake City that's basically Lake Point It's 18 miles west of Salt Lake City really easy to get in and out there they have a small office they have a big yard you just go in and I mean, of course, before you pick it up, you already paid for it. You can pay with a credit card. You can do a cashier's check. Uh, they give you seven days to pay, and then 14 days to pick up to pick up any equipment. After that, they start charging you a fee. They offer you insurance at the yard if you want. They offer you insurance in transport if you want. You can buy it for yourself if you want. It's only like 10, 15 bucks. It's really not a whole lot. Uh, which is worth it, you know. The insurance, even if you if you bring it over, you're insured for it. Um, they do charge you 10% of the selling price for items below 12,000, I think. After that is 5%, it's only 5%. And then you pay title fee and just regular fees. They they're not outrageously expensive you know they don't take advantage of you like oh they charge me like 500 bucks for paperwork like like a dealership no it's only like 60 bucks for for um title and then if you're depending on the state where you buy it if you're out of state you can or cannot pay taxes if you buy in denver colorado and you're out of state they don't charge you any taxes at all here in utah i think they do charge you their, their taxes but once you come to your hometown, you, you just go to the DMV and and show that uh, you already paid taxes, and and then you just pay the registration fee. Otherwise, they probably charge you taxes at, at your local DMV. Anyhow, uh, that's it uh, for the for the. Uh, these are timed actions, by the way. So they're just gonna go to the highest bidder over time. Uh, there's no really auction here selling this it's just gonna close tomorrow you're gonna see here like you know one hour left and then the minutes and then just like eBay kind of I do want to show you the live action though uh, they do have the live, live action for uh, <clears throat> for the heavy equipment you see here they're doing the rings or items you know I'm sorry uh, ring number one lots one to four thirty nine so they're doing about 400 items live and the rest uh, the rest of the lots they're just going to do time action I guess hiring a, a, an action here you know it's, it's not that cheap so I guess they try to avoid that and then just do the time time action I do want to show you that the live actions so you can get a, a sense of it uh, we're going to get sound over here I think Oh yeah, it's loud. It's a lot better. So here you 
you know, you, this screen pops up and, and you're looking at the uh, the live action. This is live. It tells you it tells you where where people are uh, bidding from. Like this is on site, you know, so people people are actually there bidding. And but if it's online, you'll see where it's from. And this has been going on all morning. So there's a lot of items that already sold. A lot of machinery, a lot of uh, equipment. They're down to the to the really heavy stuff I can see right now. Um, so let's pretend you were uh, you were bidding earlier, and, and then uh, I don't know. Let's go up and look at the uh, let's go up and look at the bobcats or, or the skid steers. Uh, pretend this was going live right now, and I don't know. I was going for uh, well, it sold for twenty thousand. Let's say it was going to fifteen, fifteen thousand, and you're not gonna bid on that one, but you wanna check the the, the one below or the, or the one or a couple spaces below that. You know, like uh, say uh, twenty thirteen. So you, all you do is you go into it, and then it pops up on a, on a different screen, and and then uh, you know it's coming, but you have you have a few minutes to look at it, or maybe you looked at it before previously and, and you know you're gonna bid on it and and this is how you do it you know you just click on it uh, if you just do it in online and then you can really take a look at it you know it's gonna tell you the the uh, the hours of the bobcat uh, you can look at the cabin just like a just like any any other equipment you know you can see a little video right here And so on and so forth. You know, there's actually there's another video right here. Oh, it is the same. Sorry. Yeah, they they do really take a, a whole lot of pictures of everything. And then you all you do is you go back to your uh, to your screen where the live action is, is going on. This is selling now right here. And this is the one the one's coming up you know you can bid right here i'm not gonna bid on it of course but then you would just go and, and look at it and and just bid on it hopefully you would win it uh there is a bigger chance i think of winning on the live auction than than the time auction because the time action auction they um people have more uh time to really make their decisions and out here they're going, 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 and the guy wants to move on to the next one, and and yes, they want to get more money for that, but at the same time, um, I don't know. Sometimes you can just win it uh, because nobody bid on it, or because it, no, someone was not paying attention. I don't know. That happened to me with the the last Silverado that I bought. Uh, there's a video here on my videos if you want to check it out. Uh, everybody was bidding, and then uh, I saw. It I put like 2,500 that nobody nobody bid on it, you know, and it's a 2010. This is a 2010 Silverado. Yeah, it has a lot of miles, 256,000, I think, but it's got the 5.3, and it was really clean inside. <clears throat> Not No major issues outside. Um, so, yeah, I won it. All of a sudden, I saw the green screen you, you get, you know, when, it's, when you're the winner. <laughs> so I was gladly surprised, you know, when I went to, to pick it up. And of course, if you're in, if you are into equipment, if you know what, what about all this machinery, you, you know how to transport it, you know how to go about it, you know who to hire and all that. But if not, if you're like me, like just a regular guy, you gotta be aware of your uh, transportation issues. You know, if if you're gonna say bid on a car, which they do have cars, um, well, you have to plan ahead to. Uh, to have uh, maybe uh, if you own a trailer, well, that's good. If not, then either hire a, a like a shipping company or or which which run kind of expensive. You know that they're, they're not super cheap. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get out of the light. Okay, there we go. Um, they're not super ch cheap, but they're all they're also not crazy expensive. You know if. Because remember, you got to go back and forth. So, going say from 
for me going to, to from Las Vegas to Salt Lake, it's just gas alone is around 400. I spent 450 the last time, but it was five five bucks a gallon. So now I know the gas came down. So to me right now, just to go there with gas and hotel and all that, it would be easily 750, 800 bucks plus the time that I need to take and you know being tired on the road. Now the last time that I went, I kind of wanted to see Salt Lake City, so it was okay for me. But um, next time, if, if if I get if I can get someone to bring the truck to me for like eight hundred, a thousand, it it's kind of worth paying it. I mean, depending how much you pay for the truck, you got to take all that into account. But uh, yeah, just keep in mind before you bid on something, you have to really have to know how you're gonna bring it. You know. If it's uh, something easy like a car, well, you can get a U-Haul. But if it's, I don't know, something heavy like a Bobcat or stuff like that. And they, uh, just to finish the video, they also have a lot of uh, stuff that uh, they call uh, inoperable. So stuff that is that it is not uh, uh, in, in running condition or may have some issues, you know, like, uh, like the one we saw just with the engine running rough stuff like that uh, they don't do a whole lot of those uh, it's only a few uh, you know most 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 items are gonna be okay I'll show you one right now like this this Rolls-Royce uh, 1981 Rolls-Royce this is in Las Vegas this is what I was telling you about uh, the one in Denver they do Las Vegas they do Lake Point and they do Longmont north of Denver so they do them all at the same time you just when you're browsing the items you just <coughs> you see the location there so like this in this case this uh, this 1981 Rolls Royce uh, is not gonna be running so you have to be prepared to to hire a, a, a tow company to to actually pull it with the with the winch unless you have a winch in, in your truck or in your uh, trailer then, then you're good to go but yeah just just be mindful of how you're gonna transport all this stuff you see stuff you know, cars like this you know this 20 <coughs> this 2012 challenger srt of course going for 18 18 000 and it's gonna go higher you know luxury cars so there you have it guys just wanted to show you a basic uh, video of uh, uh, Rocky I mean <laughs> I'm sorry Richie Brothers auctions and um, you know if it's an option for you if you if you like if you like it uh, then it might be worth uh, getting an account with them and, and, and start uh, looking at the auctions thanks for watching uh, hope you liked the video if you if you did just give me a like or subscribe I appreciate you have a great day thanks a lot Bye.